Um, I think I'll just say I think I'll be open and honest here. I think that's probably just it'll it'll be good for Sal, right? Because just because he doesn't want to talk about it. Sorry, probably should drink. Um, just because he doesn't want to talk about it doesn't mean that he shouldn't, right? He he's got to open up. It's all right. I just need to catch my breath. My condition isn't the best these days. Oh, is that something that is related to you being transferred? I mean, she cuts herself off rather abruptly, maybe realizing that it was she was a bit intrusive. Her instincts are sharper, though. And while I don't like the subject, it's not like I should lie about it. If it's Lily, I don't think I mind. I'm just a little weak for the time being. Hanako said you look fairly healthy, so naturally, I thought... She doesn't finish her sentence again, letting it trail off without a measure of concern. She furrows her brow. Lily's uncomfortable expression spurs me to say least something to ease her feelings. It's surprising she's this flustered, considering her straightforward attitude with her own blindness. She must know that not all share her own comfort about such things. No, it's okay. I have a pretty... I guess the best way to put it is a pretty messed up heart. Arrhythmia. I don't know why he's so weird about it, because he's told Rin, right? So it's fine. <clears throat> I had a bad heart attack a while ago because of it. I spent most of the spring in hospital. And in Yamaku on doctor's orders. She silently nods her head in acknowledgement. My answer, though, only seems to make Lily furrow her brow even further. She doesn't seem to... She doesn't quite seem to know how to react, given we don't really know each other that well. I can't really fault her for it, given I have the exact same reason. Reaction? To my surprise, in a moment's time, her face shows that she comes to some sort of realization. I don't know why I fucked up on that. Wait, so the whole time when Emmy and you collided in the so that time you and Emmy collided in the hallway? I grimace slightly. Her ability to connect the dots quite so fast is unexpected. Yeah, I guess I'm a textbook sample of why those rules about running in the corridors exist. I was a lot more dry than I intended. Lily visibly shies away from continuing the topic. While I do want to massage her concern, I really don't want to dwell on this either. Don't worry about it. I try to offer her some reassuring smile, but then I realize the futility. Without knowing this, Lily smiles at me reassuringly, but doesn't seem to say anything further. Arriving at the dorms, Rin stops in front of her mural, as if the lightning struck her. She's been so quiet almost the whole walk back, I forgot she was even here. It's Friday, isn't it? Yes, Friday, the 8th of June. This is bad. Bad? Why? I think I'm going to go in the fetal position and throw up. Probably in reverse order. Something wrong. No, nothing is wrong. It's Friday, and nothing is wrong yet. This mural, it's going to need to be finished by Sunday, so everything's all right. Do you have any drugs? Or a time machine? This is not good. Not good. So she's behind her schedule. Calling Shizune's exasperation at Rin's carefree attitude several days ago, I don't really know what to think. She's left herself open for a told-you-so, unless she can pull off whatever she needs to pull off by Sunday morning. Rin keeps staring at her mural, looking as mortified as she can. Leave me. I'm gonna need to work. For a while. I glance at Lily, expecting her to share some incredulous look with me as I roll my eyes, but then I realize she's not one to do that kind of thing. Leave me. We do, of course, not wanting to aggravate her any more than she already is. There's a churning feeling in my gut. Rin sure has a knack of feeling, making people feel worried about her. She seems like a person who should never be left alone. Maybe we could, should call someone? She sounded like she was going into shock or something. I'm sure she will be just fine. She's a, uh, how to say... Lily cocks her head a little, try to find a polite way of calling Rin crazy without calling her crazy. Unique? Yes, a very unique person. I guess you could say that. She giggles at the notion, melodiously, nodding in agreement. Sorry about leaving you stranded as you talk to her. I don't really understand her, so I keep my distance. So my guess was right. Lily offers a slight apologetic smile as if she was sorry that her own shortcomings have prevented her from becoming closer to Rin. I'm not one to blame her at all. Lily s lets a... <clears throat> God, my throat. Lily lets slip a long breath, probably a disguised yawn. I imagine she's exhausted by all of this as I am. 
I'd better leave now to give these to Hanako. Thank you for the company, Asao. She smiles very sweetly at me. It feels different than normal, despite the fact that she seems to be smiling so often. I can't put my finger on it, but the difference is, it's just different. Relaxed, I'd say, but that's probably just relief of getting over Rin, maybe. Yeah, good night. Say hi to Hanako for me. I will. Good night. Nice, nice, nice. That feels really short, but, um, you know, that's the rules. I'll see you guys next week. Probably.